If there's anybody that worked for the CDC watching, um, please chime in because what I'm about to post, uh, I have no knowledge of, but what I do have knowledge of is, is, is common sense, you know, so I can speak on this topic a little bit. But if there's anybody that worked for the Center of Disease Control um, previously or currently, please let me know. Um, even doctors and nurses and scientists, you know, you can chime in as well. Jehovah Witnesses teach that at this great day of Armageddon, there's gonna be a mass murder like we've never seen in the history of mankind. We've seen some, some heavy stuff, you know, maybe not personally, but on television, on history channels, you know, and some of those things you can't even watch from your living room, right? Let alone in real life. So we're talking about a mass murder, right? Let's just give it a billion people. Say God will save 6 billion people. Let's give it a billion. But according to the Jehovah Witness doctrine and teachings, it's probably going to be a lot more than that. So let's just cut it in half, right? Let's say 3.5 billion people. Do you know and understand what that looks like? You're talking about people strolling about in the streets and decapitation and, you know, people that fell off of high buildings and, you know, it, we, we, we seen 9-11 and we can't even, you know, sometimes even watch that. There's people that are going to uh, psychiatrists to get help. There are people that have PTSD. There's people that have depression, severe depression from just being in close proximity to 9-11. Let alone the people that actually saw people falling out windows and jumping to their deaths, you know. Do you know what a worldwide calamity looks like? The one that's supposed to happen at Armageddon. Do you know the carcasses laid out in the street. I know they say vultures are supposed to clean them up, right? But in the meantime, in the meantime, as the as the vultures are eating flesh, that in itself is like, yeah, you, you, you don't comfort people by saying, no, we're not really gonna have to clean up. The vultures are gonna do that. Yeah, but watching vultures bite on human flesh to clean them up. Like, do you know where, where where you would have to be to shield yourself or your children from seeing that, right? You have a deer that is that has been killed on a road. You can't get too close to a squirrel that's been killed on a road. If I'm jogging and I like to jog out in the streets and there's a, you know, a dead squirrel or roadkill or whatever, it's like you got to get away from it. There's flies, the smell. You're talking about three billion people laid out in the streets what about your children you're gonna go in the basement that's what you're gonna do you're going in the basement right the Jehovah Witnesses always like to say we're gonna be at kingdom halls and basements right do you know how long the cleanup would be right but I guess those are one of those things where you leave it to Jehovah because Jehovah will miraculous, miraculously, you know, uh, step in. Uh, they didn't say Jehovah was going to step in. They said the vultures were going to do that, right? So that's why I ask scientists, CDC, health officials, can we survive that disease? Do you understand? You think Corona was bad? Do you understand the disease that would be inflicted on the rest of the people that survive Armageddon? Do you understand the psychological impact? Like the average person, when when has the average person seen three, four people laid out in the street dead? The average person, not people that were in the war or trenches and, you know, in the, in, the, in the jungle. We're not talking about that. The average person. 
Do you know what that looks like? Do you know the psychological impact that would have on most people, let alone children? And, and yet you got to you gotta clean this up. There's the, the stench that would be in the air. Like, it, it, it would be unbelievable. But this is what they teach, right? What a great way to start paradise on earth. What a great way. Clean up dead bodies, carcasses, uh, the, the, the children seeing classmates. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But maybe they're going to realize how crazy that sounds and they'll come up with some new light and say that, you know, it's not going to be that many people. Um, it's basically just going to be Babylon the Great. Um, uh, maybe it's going to be more of a metaphorical uh, murder. Uh, maybe people are just going to just disappear like in the uh, end game of the Avengers movie. You know, it's just like... Right, that would be nice. Um, yeah, maybe it'll be like that. You know, people would just nicely disappear. You know, fade away. Maybe it'll be like that. Uh, maybe that's the new light. It's probably going to be the new light. Because as time moves forward, and you get these young kids growing up in, in the uh, organization... You're bound to have some critical thinkers that say, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, what's 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 gonna happen? How did, how is that gonna happen? And certain things don't suffice when you just say, well, that's what the Bible says. You know, it's like, yeah, well, the Bible says a lot of things. You know, let's let's break that down. Let's decipher that. Is it literal, metaphorically, symbolism? Like, what is it? You know, so that's just a question that I have uh, another thing that is absurd from the uh, teachings and the indoctrination of, uh, you know, the Bible, uh, Watch Our Bible Tract Society organization, whatever they do, whatever they name it, they're probably going to switch up the LLC pretty soon anyway, you know, when things get really rough and laws start being put into place. Um, people are laughing that I said the shunning thing, which is probably the the foundation of the organization. People laugh at me when I say, you know, they're probably going to do away with that. You know, and when that happens, there's going to be people leaving by the droves. By the droves. Because that's like the that's like the foundation. Right. So when it becomes law that that may be a form of discrimination and you can't shun anymore and you can actually be sued wonder what's going to happen then right people are going to leave by the droves they're going to have to regroup they're going to have to set up another LLC and the name will change once again used to be the Bible students Jehovah Witnesses 10, 15, 20 years from now, maybe the Jehovah Witness organization won't even exist under that name anymore. Right? But once again, as I leave you with this information, all I ask is that you think. Think. That's it. Love.